Hello everybody, this is Repeat Ron and welcome to the channel. Today we are going to be taking a look at Killing Floor 2 and we're going to be specifically looking at the Commando class. So this is going to be a guide to Commando, looking through some builds and discussing why Commando is as strong as they are. So there's a couple of reasons why somebody may want to play Commando. Um, the first of which is familiarity. Uh, it is a very basic FPS class, so anybody that has any sort of FPS background, regardless of what type of game you're playing, you will likely know how to play Commando because they use assault rifles, and that's generally the most common weapon that most players use in most FPS games. So let's go over some of their just base perk bonuses. Uh, they get bonus damage, 1% per level, uh, with all of their perk weapons. This is pretty standard for most classes. They can see enemies' health bars and reveal cloaked enemies. Now, revealing cloaked enemies is really good in this game because uh, I know a lot of newer players have trouble seeing stalkers or seeing the patriarch or matriarch when they cloak. So having the ability to see them is really good. The more you level up, the further you're going to be able to see them, which is great. Um, and seeing health bars is also useful so that you know which enemies to target and which enemies to kind of just ignore because you know they're going to die. So you get uh, Zed refreshes as well uh, every five levels, which is great. So every time that Zed time triggers, uh, which is the slow motion, you can kill enemies and reset that timer to go again. And you can keep doing this until you run out of the Zed time triggers. This can make uh, Zed time extend for quite a long time. I think it's a total of 20-ish seconds in, to in total Zed time, which 20 seconds is a very long time for everything to be slow to where you can move around easier uh, and where you can scout out everything much easier. So that's pretty good. They also get bonus reload speed, which is just handy all the way around. Recoil reduction, which is fantastic that they've added this as a passive now. Um, it makes cer certain weapons way more uh, usable the more you level up, like the FAL and the AK, which we will talk about at least one of those. And you can also call out Cloak Zeds, which your person will just do naturally by looking at them. So let's talk about some of the configured skills here for your loadout. Now, what I usually do with these beginner videos is I try to make them uh, use weapons that are lower than tier 3 weapons or tier 3 or lower weapons so that they are obtainable by everybody regardless of your skill level. For Commando I'm going to cheat this one time and sort of cheat. We're gonna go with a tier 4 weapon. This is going to be the Medic uh, Commando loadout and right away you can actually choose between these level 5 perks. Tactical Reload gives you faster reload speed by about 20% um, high capacity magazines give you an extra 50% larger magazine with all of your assault rifles. Either one of these is fantastic and it's really your choice as to which one you'd pick. I personally like larger magazines, but if you like faster reload, take that one. Um, there's really no wrong answer here. For level 10, I'm going to take fallback specifically to use the 9mm as our backup weapon and the knife if need be. Now the weapon switch speed sadly won't help us all that much with this build, unless of course you're going to go with like dual 9mm or another gun assuming you can rack up that money, but I won't be including those in this build. And then we have Tenacious, which will just give you increased health and armor by 25%. You should really always start with Tenacious, um, regardless of what if you're going to transition over to prepared later because tenacious will just give you 25 percent bonus health and 25 free armor that you get at the start of the game so you might as well go for it a similar thing can be said about fallback you might as well go with fallback for at least the first few rounds just so that you do extra damage with your nine millimeter and with your knife so you don't have to be uh scrounging for money because commando honestly doesn't have that great of weapon options from tier one to tier two uh, most of their weapons aren't that great. It, they get much better once you can hit tier 3 and tier 4 weapons and tier 5 weapons. I should also talk about the extra uh, skills down here that I don't currently have unlocked. Um, and we have hollow point rounds and eat lead. Um, for this build, I would it honestly doesn't matter whether you want to go with hollow point rounds or eat lead. It's completely your choice. If you like larger magazines, go with that. If you like more damage, go with hollow point rounds. And then Tactician and Machine Gunner also don't matter too much with this loadout either. Um, just pick whichever one you like better. So, let's begin and let's talk about some of the starting equipment that Commando has. So, Commando starts out with their AR-15, which is a pretty interesting gun. Um, it's pretty good for killing small things for the early waves. 
uh, relatively quickly and it has pretty good accuracy. The AR-15 isn't most people's favorite weapon because its iron sights can be a bit difficult to uh, focus on. So it has a three round burst fire or it has a semi-auto fire. I would recommend always switching to semi-auto because in three round burst it's almost you're almost always going to be um, missing shots and losing more ammo. In semi-auto you are much more accurate. You also have about the same rate of fire um, with semi-auto or burst fire uh, assuming how fast you can you know pull the trigger. But semi-auto I think is the way to go and simply aim for headshots early on. That would be my main recommendation. You can also, if you're running fallback, of course, use your knife for the early waves, um, using heavy attacks, stabs, light attacks, whatever it might be, on like single zeds that you see as you go by. You don't have to do this all the time, but if you want to save some extra cash, uh, which it will be helpful for this build, I'll explain why in just a little bit. Uh, you can do that, and it does kind of help to get used to. How to use your knife and at least how to um, block and parry with your knife that will help out with a um, well with actually quite a few classes mostly berserker but if you can you know accurately block and parry and not take that much damage you can also use this technique with any class because all of them have knives and they work extremely well against things like flesh pounds or uh, particularly the King Flesh Pound. So you also have your 9mm. And since you have fallback with Commando, your 9mm is actually one of your strongest weapons. If you fully maxed out, I believe that you can be doing somewhere around 90 damage a shot with the 9mm, which I believe is the uh, highest damage that you can get per shot with any of Commando's weapons. So as I stated, we do need extra money for this particular loadout, and that will be going with the HM Tech 401 Medic Assault Rifle. The Medic Assault Rifle is really good, but it does require 1500 DOSH, so it is an expensive weapon and it's a tier 4 weapon. That's why I'm going to only recommend the uh, HM Tech 401 Medic Assault Rifle for this loadout, because it is so expensive and that feels kind of fair if I'm recommending lower uh, weapons. I would just recommend holding on to the AR-15. You can, of course, uh, change it out for either the Bullpup or the Tommy Gun if you choose to. Um, the Bullpup is the weaker of the two, at least currently. It is supposed to get a up, uh, buff in the next update, though, lowering its weight and increasing its damage slightly. So I feel like then it will be a little bit stronger than what it is currently. I still don't know if it will necessarily be a stronger option early on than the Tommy Gun, but if you're comfortable with using your AR-15, then you can use that. So for anybody looking for more of an advanced technique on pretty much all of Commando's weapons, if you're going to go with the larger ammo capacity weapons rather than the, uh, well, larger ammo capacity perks rather than the faster reload perks, you can abuse a reload cancel in this game. And how to do this is simply, once you have shot out a shot, or if your gun is completely empty, go to reload and watch the number at the bottom. As soon as it hits the next uh, number, that means it is reloaded and you can fire it again. If you cancel your reload then with a melee attack and then press the fire button, you'll be able to fire immediately without having to go through the melee attack. You can also do this by switching weapons too, but that's a bit more difficult to do. I find it easiest to do the melee attack as soon as you reload to fire again. That way you don't have to go through the whole animation. Uh, this particularly helps with weapons like the stoner because it holds a lot of shots and it takes a long time to reload. Um, so it's very useful to know there and like the minigun if you plan on using them. Uh, so that's a little bit more of an advanced technique for commando and it works for almost every class with almost every weapon. Certain weapons don't benefit as much from the reload cancel. Weapons like um, like the pump shotguns really don't. Should you buy armor early on with Commando? You can. It depends, honestly, how well you're doing. If you're finding yourself getting beat up uh, fairly early on, uh, then armor is probably a good option for you. You don't necessarily have to buy all of your armor, but buy some of your armor will definitely help. So the Commando has the high explosive grenades, which are pretty good grenades. However, they can be very dangerous to you. Um, they are one of the just easiest and most simple to use grenades. Throw them, they explode. Um, nothing really complicated about that. 
And they also do some of the highest damage out of any of the grenades in the game, too. The only other grenades that do a little bit more, well, or the same. The half stick of dynamite with demo does the same amount of damage. Probably more because it's demo using it. But um, the only other one that can do more than that is potentially the frag grenade. And that's more of a potential. The half stick of dynamite and the frag or the uh, high explosive grenades are more likely to deal more damage. Let's also talk about um, Zeds to attack and to avoid. As commando, really any small or medium Zed, you can kill pretty effectively. Um, any of the little ones, crawlers, stalkers, especially stalkers, clots, slashers, uh, rioters, anything like that, you can kill very easily as commando. Um, you can also kill all the medium Zeds without too much trouble, either sirens, bloats, husks. None of them give you that much trouble as commando. Simply aim for either their head or the weak spot like the husk's backpack and you'll go through them like nothing. Um, once you get to the larger Zeds, that's when it starts becoming an issue for you as commando. Commando is not the best class at killing large Zeds. Um, you can do it, but it is a bit more difficult. Um, fighting Scrakes is not really well advised as commando. It's probably best just to leave the Scrake alone and let somebody else handle it. Flesh Pounds, however, you can kill. Um, the easiest way to do this would be by chaining frag grenades together. Or, I'm sorry, your high explosive grenades together. This allows you to do a lot of damage to a single flesh pound very quickly, and you can pretty reliably kill one if you combine that with just fire from whatever your main assault rifle is. Um, however, you likely won't be able to kill multiple flesh pounds if they all start coming. So be sure to do this only if there's you know, no other option or if there's a flesh pound that's specifically trying to single you out. You should also learn to abuse Zed time too with Commando. This is pretty much what makes Commando so strong. Purposely try to ignore anything that is relatively tanky. Try to go for the easiest kills that you possibly can during Zed time. So any sort of small guys like these, try to aim for the head and hit them. Any crawlers, be sure to try to kill them. Uh, try not to just focus down somebody big like this. Obviously, if you if it's Zed time and the strike is the only thing around, sure. Especially if you have teammates, you can do that. Um, once again, Commando's not really the best at killing big or medium stuff quickly. However, medium stuff shouldn't give you too much issues. It's mostly once you get to strikes and flesh pounds where you can have some issues. Alright, so once you have enough money, be sure to get yourself the HM Tech 401 Medic Assault Rifle. I really like this gun. This is one of Commando's strongest guns, in my opinion. Um, it also fits well with a lot of other guns that Commando can use. So if you're a fan of using anything like the M16, the AK, the SCAR, um, the FAL, this thing works fantastic with them. For this build loadout, though, I'm going to specifically like recommend only kid. using the uh, Medic AR, just so that it kind of fits into that still sort of budget loadout for a lot of people where this is really your only gun that you're going to need. Um, this gun holds a lot of shots. It holds 45 base. I have the uh, high capacity magazine, so it holds 60. And it's fairly strong. It's fairly accurate. It also has the ability to heal and it's one of the best healing uh, weapons in the game. It's got pretty nice sights and of course if you want to use healing darts Simply aim down sights, you'll auto lock on to whoever's close to you that needs healing. And you can use it against Zeds like what I just did there, but it's really not recommended. It'll do a little bit of poison damage and a little damage over time, but it's not really a weapon that you want to use against really anything. And then, like I said, if you have fallback, your 9mm pistol can be a pretty good alternative. You don't really need to put any upgrades into this gun. It's pretty strong as is. And its upgrade honestly isn't going to give you that much more uh, damage or damage per second. The Medic Assault Rifle doesn't really scale the best. Now the second build that I would recommend for Commando is more of a standard Commando build and loadout rather than just having one gun. So this will involve two. Once again, at level 5 you can take Tactical Reload or High Capacity Magazines. For this I'm going to take Tactical Reload since I took High Capacity Magazines for the other, but it's completely up to you. You can take Fallback for early waves, but I, once again I'm going to take Impact Rounds. This is going to be the weapon that, or the perk that you want 
for your weapons um, after a couple waves. And instead of Tenacity, I'm going to go with Prepared for more ammo. Uh, once again, I would recommend Tenacity, though, for the early waves. So, you know, maybe for the first wave or two. Try that out so that you can abuse that extra armor that you get for free. So with the second loadout, I would recommend selling the AR-15 immediately as soon as you can. Uh, as soon as you get enough money to either go with the bullpup or the tommy gun. I would recommend your first weapon be the tommy gun over the bullpup, uh, as recent stated previously. The bullpup does not scale as well as the tommy gun, and it's just not as useful early on. You get more overall ammunition out of the tommy gun. And it's generally better just without upgrades than the bullpup, at least as Last of right chance. now. Once again, that could change the in the future. Uh, we'll have to see. But for right now, go with the Tommy gun right after the first wave or second wave, depending on if you didn't get enough money. Back to it, mes amis. And one thing that I should mention that's really good to try to do on Commando is simply look around the map for extra ammo uh, containers and extra weapon drops. If you can find a, another primary weapon early on, um, one of the low level, uh, level one perk weapons, um, that can actually help you a lot with Commando. Because you're generally going to want to save up for tier 3 or tier 4 or even to tier 5 weapons as your first weapon. Tommy Gun can either be shot uh, one shot at a time or it can be fired full auto. If you're firing it in full auto, I do recommend kind of firing it in bursts, trying to hit the head once again. Hitting headshots is important with Commando, because your weapons tend not to do the most damage per shot compared to other classes. They're not bad by doing body shots, but it's yeah, a bit more effective if you can hit headshots. Now, once you have enough money, I'm actually going to recommend two different guns for this loadout, but they work kind of similar, but do different jobs. Um, the first one that I'd recommend is the AK-12. The AK-12 is a very powerful gun. All it also has way. very nice sights with this Don't red dot on it. Up, and it can either be fired in full auto or in three round bursts. Now in three round bursts, it actually has a much higher rate of fire. It almost doubles in its rate of fire. Um, and that is really, really big for it. The AK does uh, pretty high damage per shot just with its uh, just unupgraded. And with its upgrades, it does get a little bit stronger, but it actually has pretty diminishing returns, and it's not really the best weapon to upgrade. Um, certain other weapons that Commando have are better. This weapon also benefits from just being generally higher leveled with Commando so that you have uh, more recoil reduction, because the AK does have a decent amount of recoil to it. Once again, I'd recommend aiming for the head, and any sort of smaller medium Zeds, I would just recommend keeping it on full auto. Uh, the AK can just absolutely shred through pretty much any small or medium Z without much trouble. At longer ranges, it might be a little bit more difficult because the AK does have, like I said, a bit more recoil and it has a little bit more spread than some of the other assault rifles, but it's still usually uh, pretty reliable. All right, now the AK is one of the few guns that Commando has that's actually quite good against big Zs, like this strike here. If you set it to burst fire, and then, particularly if you can crouch in an area, you can actually have it be quite accurate to hit him in the head and kill them fairly quickly with this gun. It is a little bit more consistent, at least at higher difficulties, to use this with um, the higher capacity magazines, because you simply have more bursts then and you're more likely to kill them. Uh, the AK is also fairly strong against flesh pounds too. It's pretty strong against everything. Now the second gun I'd recommend, if you didn't want the AK, is the M16. The M16 is similar to the AK in that it's a good overall gun. The M16 can kill pretty much anything in this game without too much trouble, with the only exception being kind of strikes. It does kill flesh pounds much better though, because it does have the underbarrel grenade launcher on it, which is fantastic. The M16 also has fantastic iron sights in my opinion. Very easy to see everything in. And this gun has very, very little recoil. So if you want uh, a more controllable gun, then I would definitely recommend the M16. Uh, or if you want a gun that's more specialized at killing flesh pounds, then the M16 could be the gun for you. If you're looking for a stronger overall gun, then I would recommend the AK. Um, neither of these guns, the AK or the M16, scale particularly well with upgrades. 
They do okay. The M16's grenade launcher actually does scale pretty well, kills. but the assault rifle part of it, not so much. It's Something a little bit better um, scaling-wise than the AK, but it's ultimately up to you. If you wish you to throw upgrades into these, they really don't need them. I recommend the Tommy gun as your secondary, simply for its large ammo capacity and it being quite strong against small zeds. Since the Tommy gun also counts as a submachine gun. It's not only an assault rifle, but it's a submachine gun. Most small zeds have a natural weakness towards come. submachine oh, guns. So this works pretty well, especially if your aim isn't the best and you're kind of just, you know, spraying this down hallways. It's, it's pretty forgiving in that way, and it's not that expensive. So one thing to also keep in mind about the M16 is that if enemies are close to you and you fire the grenade launcher, it will not go off. They have to be within a certain distance to the, for, the, for the grenade to arm itself. So at close range, you can still use it as a pretty effective uh, weapon if need be. But it's less than ideal if you are using up your grenades like this. Alright, so that'll do it for the Commando beginner builds. Um, try these builds out, tell me what you think about them. Um, this isn't to say like tier 4 and tier 5 weapons aren't good on Commando. They're actually probably some of Commando's best weapons. I just wanted to keep this as cheap as possible for people who don't always make the most money. So thank you guys so very much for watching this. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Next time we're going to be looking at beginner support and that should be a lot of fun because support is a very, very good and very, very strong beginner class. Uh, it's just a pretty good class overall, but specifically for beginners, it's really good. So hopefully you look forward to that. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this, be sure that you're subscribed so you can see more of these uh, guide videos when I put them out and any of my other content that I put out. Be sure that you give this video a big old thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I will talk to all of you guys next time. Till then, stay cool, and bye!